paid, rush, approved are some of the terms routinely stamped onto documents. Professionals such as engineers have their official stamps too. For years, you had to dab the stamp on an ink pad for each impression. Nowadays, you can get stamps with the ink built right in. The process begins with a design that either the stamp company or its customer creates with standard graphics software. They print the stamp design onto paper using a high-quality laser printer, then place the printout under an imaging camera. They feed in a blank sheet of negative film. Then photograph the printout. 30 seconds later, out comes the negative. The design is light, the background dark. Now they can begin making the mold for the stamp. They apply the negative to a plate of light-sensitive polymer, a plastic-like material. Then they vacuum out the air to prevent defects in the mold. Then they expose the polymer plate to ultraviolet light for approximately three minutes. The UV penetrates through the light part of the negative, the stamp design, and hardens the polymer underneath. The rest of the polymer is shielded by the dark portions of the negative, so it doesn't change. A wash cycle then scrubs away this unhardened polymer, leaving behind a perfect mold in the shape of the stamp. Now they cover the mold with a sheet of synthetic resin called Bakelite and put it into a machine called a vulcanizer. The machine heats the Bakelite to 154 degrees Celsius, then forces it into the mold using two to three tons of pressure. After four minutes, the Bakelite stamp is ready. To be more productive, the factory actually molds several stamps at a time. Next comes the built-in ink. They screw the Bakelite stamps into what's called the pre-ink mold, then pour in a mixture of ink and gel. They cover the mold and vacuum out the air, a process that takes 12 minutes. The mold then goes into a heat press for 17 minutes. The press applies two tons of pressure to expel excess ink and heats the ink gel to 127 degrees Celsius, transforming it to roughly the consistency of a marshmallow. So it won't overcook, the mold goes onto a special cooling table for 12 minutes. Next, it's set out to cool for another 45 minutes, this time on newspapers, which soak up more excess ink. Finally, they wrap the mold in paper towels and newspapers and vacuum out the last drops of excess ink. Then they quickly seal the back of the stamp to lock the ink in. Now they can cut apart the individual stamps. They glue the stamps by hand onto the base of the stamp handles. Before they're shipped out to the customer, all the stamps undergo a quality control check to make sure they'll leave a lasting impression.